There's a lot of podcasts out there, but this one, you never know what to expect. It's always fun. Feel all the emotions with your host, Mercedes Rich, and every surprise guest. Now it's time. And the artist is... Tell me what Seven Hills Worship is all about. So Seven Hills Worship is Liberty University. So it's, we always say it's not new, but it might be new to you because it's, it's kind of what the university has done since 1971. It's like mm-hmm. students come together. They're so passionate. It's this raw worship of we want to worship God. And so inside that, we're like, okay, Seven Hills, Lynchburg sits on the city of Seven Hills and it kind of parallels back to Rome, the other city of Seven Hills where Paul took the gospel and was like, hey, the people are the church and Liberty's mission has been that since the beginning, cha- training champions for Christ. And so inside of Seven Hills Worship, it was like, okay, how do we come together as a university and be unified to take the mission of the gospel out to the people? Mm, absolutely. And then Patrick and Hannah, if you could speak a little bit into what your experience has been like with Seven Hills since you've started. Yeah, I think it's been so cool just coming together with friends and different musicians and worshipers just coming together. And like, there's just such a um, a space of joy and freedom that um, I've never really experienced before. And so it's just been a blessing and amazing to just work with all these people. So, yeah, um, totally. Uh, it's also just been cool. Uh, just to see um, just as a student body how um, we can now just really represent within the school um, what our school, the student body is, um, as well as our faculty and staff too. Mm -hmm. It's just that, um, you know, we do have these different uh, groups and stuff here on campus, which are awesome, you know, LU Praise and the Collective and Shine and all that. But, um, man, to have a space where we all can come together and um, just worship and lead, uh, and together is just really, really awesome. So, mm, definitely, I yeah. love that. <laughs> so, what did it look like for you guys, like from the process of starting Seven Hills to like approaching different people to like be mm-hmm. on the songs and all that? Oh, that's a journey. That's a journey. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. pun intended. Yeah, right? <laughs> no pun intended. But uh, it it really took getting uh, the right people involved, and so going to the people that kind of do it best, and so Greg Ham with One Eight Entertainment um, is one of our partners in this, and. I mean, he represents CeCe Winans and Michael W. Smith and Charity Gale and a whole bunch of others. And then um, the songwriting process was a cool part because we're like, okay, we have all these student writers. We have all these worship leaders on campus. And so we brought in a bunch of writers um, from Michael Farron to Jesse Reeves um, to Jenny Lee Riddle to people who wrote songs that we all grew up listening to. So How Great Is Our God and all of Lauren Daigle's catalog and... Um, the Revelation song. And so we put them in writing camps with all these student writers. So you'd have like three student writers writing in a camp and then you'd put a professional in with them and you'd start crafting songs that way. And so we kind of started it with a songwriting camp and we let the songs rise to the top. And then we um, brought John Sell on our team um, who is A&R for Centricity and Capital. And Mm -hmm. he's the one behind Lauren Daigle and Jordan Felice and their songs going out to the market. And so we're like, hey, let's get some ears on these songs that have been written so we can actually start to have a process that capitalizes on what the student's heart are and the heartbeat of worship here at Liberty. And so it's, like I say, it's it's a journey. It was like step one, step two, step three, step four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, and, and so like just getting all of these people in here to help refine the process and make it something that the university is proud of, make it something that the students are proud of, and when we come together, it really shows what the body of Christ looks like when it comes together. Hmm. And what does it look like from song to song? Because Christ in Me is the first one that you guys mm-hmm. did. So what yeah. does it look like? Is it the same people every time or does it switch up every time? And how do you guys decide that? Sure. Um, so um, as John was saying, there were so many steps. Uh, there was another step uh, that <laughs> happened. Um, so back in September of 2022, 20, uh, um, we all brought um, all of our vocalists and um, our band, we brought them all into one room mm-hmm. and um, we just turned the soundboard on the <laughs> camera and we just, we honestly just went for it, you know. Um, yeah, there were some strategic, you know, um, placing of uh, just the vocalists. Um, again, more so just to um, facilitate and I guess uh, uh, illustrate all the ca- uh, all the groups on campus. So you have leaders that are from each um, group here on campus so yeah. there's not really just kind of a one set um, you know um, group of vocalists that lead every song but um, again there's just it's just a wide variety 
and um, just an example of what we have here on campus, as well as the band. Um, the band consisted of, I mean, players from uh, practically every group on campus. So mm -hmm. um, it was really, really cool that we got to do that. And um, it was great because um, being in that room and recording, I think it just really set our mind around what we were actually doing, like what mm. we were actually taking part yeah. in. Um, again, like Hannah is on um, the collective and you know, I get to direct LU Praise and Hannah has a friend on LU Praise where, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they're, you know, both are super talented, but like here at on, on campus, they would rarely yeah, get to sing. Yeah, we never that. get to lead together <laughs> at all. Like, she's one of my best friends, and I, like, sure. never get to sing with her. For sure. And, like, the students, man, were just head over heels about, no pun intended, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've, that, <laughs> it was so bad when it came off. But they were head over heels um, when they found out that, you know, um, when we were putting this band and this whole vocalist thing together, like, this whole movement, it was just awesome. And then in the room, we just had almost 100 50 students again um, not even just from the groups here we had yeah. worship choir from the school of music i mean it, it was yeah it was so it was special mind -blowing. it was so good so good oh, so. that's awesome <laughs> and hannah you mentioned something about your best friend being in one of the other groups yeah. on campus and being able to lead with her so what's that like being able to all come together <laughs> yeah that's cool. no it's so special we were uh, talking a couple of weeks ago and we we're like how cool is it like i never ever rarely get to lead with like lu <laughs> praise or mm -hmm. get to come alongside with other groups like vessel or mm -hmm. shine or E41, and to be able to all come together in the same room and proclaim the, the name of the same God, like yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Like, that is so special because you have every single expertise, every single genre kind of together fused. Mm -hmm. And it was just it was just beautiful, yeah. mind-blowing. So. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the church, too. It's like when we break down the walls and when we come together, it's like, wow, there we see a pure form of worship. Of, yeah, we're all a part of the kingdom of God. We all belong. We all, and it, it was it was cool to be in that room and just to see the pure heart of worship of yeah. all these students with no agenda, yeah. with nothing. And they're just we showed up to worship, and I mm -hmm. think that 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 was captured mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. sure. And specifically with this first song, Christ in Me, what was the meaning behind it from the get go, but also what it means specifically to each one of you? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. So um, <laughs> uh, it was cool because, um, first of all, I was able to um, uh, be the lead vocal on this on this uh, that track. And um, so just kind of preparing for it, I was just, you know, kind of listening to it, you know what I mean, trying to get, uh, you know, the notes and all of that together. But um, I really just kind of started taking the message. And it's just a, a firm declaration, man. I don't think we can ever have enough songs that yeah. just... Um, outline who we are who god uh, who god is and who we are in christ mm -hmm. and um it's just awesome um that uh again this song has gone out and uh we sang it uh just yesterday at uh mm -hmm. thomas road and mm -hmm. just to hear you know uh, two thousand people just um you know i mean uh, proclaiming unashamed, unashamedly um you know their stance in christ it's just it's it's it's, it's amazing it's amazing and um Again, super excited that uh, as a student body and as a as a uh, conglomerate here at, at Liberty, um, we get to all do that together, you know. Um, and uh, I'm just excited for the other songs to come out. It's such a wide variety of song as well. So you yeah. have this declaration and you have some other songs that are just... Uh, it, I'm mm -hmm. not going to give too much away. It's, it's good, <laughs> yo. It's, it's going to be crazy, yo. It's going to be so good. It's yeah. Gonna be so good. No, I think it's really cool because I feel like each song um, declares a different aspect of the gospel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think that is so beautiful because I was, like, reflecting back on each song, and I'm like, wow, like, <laughs> I can I can associate this song with this yeah, aspect yeah. and this part yeah. of, like, the adoption, the adopting yeah. power of the Lord yeah. through salvation and this through the hope we have in Christ. And I think it's so beautiful because for every believer, each song um, kind of ties it itself to a different part of your testimony. Mm -hmm. And for the unbeliever who listens— um, they're going to hear a different aspect yeah, of the gospel yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. able to tie that to what they're going through 100%. through their own lives. So my hope and prayer is that each person that hears this will just be blessed. And mm -hmm. if they don't know Christ, come to know the Lord Absolutely. through this project. So, Absolutely. so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think it's so cool in this whole process to, like Hannah said, have each song that's so different but has such a proclamation of the gospel. So yeah. when we come together, I think Christ in me was 
an easier first song because it's catchy, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. upbeat, <laughs> and it gets to the gospel right away. I mean, yeah. Christ yeah. to me, the hope of glory, sure, sure. he makes all things new, mm-hmm. and it's like we're alive mm-hmm. when we decide that Christ is our God and our And I think coming out of the gate with something like that, it's like, okay, this is a solid song. This is an upbeat song, and it really gets to the gospel quick. So yeah. I think that was kind of the choice on that. Yep. That and the people who are really good at selecting songs said that. that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what do you all hope to get out of this experience, like from the label side as well as from the performance side? Like, what do you really just want to get out and proclaim to the world? Sure. Yeah. Well. Okay, I'll start with this one. So, um, from the label side of things, it's like we came together and we really said, "How do we bless the church? How d- mm. it, there's there's so much." I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible. There's there's so many agendas when it comes to music and music industry and, mm-hmm. you know, will this capture this market and that kind of stuff. And we came together and we said, okay, first of all, what songs honor God? What songs have good theology? What songs are good for the students? What In the, in the writing room with Michael Farron and with Jesse Reeves, we were sitting down and looking at a sheet of paper and Michael said, what can we write that a student in their darkest moments 10 years after graduation can come back to and sing hmm. that's going to turn their heart again that God loves them? And so, um, and that was, I think that was the song that turned into We Belong, which was how do we get them to realize that mm-hmm. no matter what you've done, what sin you have in your life, that God's greater than this, that God can turn your heart to himself again? Because at the end of the day, when we're talking worship and when we're talking churches and worship market, it's... It's really how do we glorify God in our actions? How do we glorify God in everything that's about our lifestyle? And so, yeah, there's there's different things. We'd love to see churches singing these songs. We'd love to see people come to know Christ because of these songs. But at the end of the day, it's how do we honor God with what he's given us and now give that back to other people to have access to. Yeah, hmm. um, yeah uh, what I hope to see from this is um, I think we're really taking a shot at something huge um, with just the coming together of um, so many different um, cultures, backgrounds, um, and just different types of really people and saints, like, coming together and doing this. And um, I want, um, you know, people to see this at liberty and not, like, just stop at listening to our music. Um, I really mm. want them to be able to be like, okay, mm. man, that's a bit of a blueprint for us to create something like that on our own um, right within their co- their communities to um, as we did with our teams where we were, you know, breaking down r- yeah. walls and, you know what I mean, really like gathering our community of, of musicians and singers here on campus. I want them to be able to do the same thing within theirs, um, to go to those different churches, to go to those different cultures and be like, you know, let's create something uh, together that can, again, honor the yeah. Lord and really bless yeah. the community. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I really hope that um, as we are... What, what actually what I actually love, really like about this is that um, we know like our students kind of switch up almost every we say four years, but it's like almost every semester. Like there's <laughs> yeah. a different set of like you know like different set of students that's sitting in those uh, those things. So like we know that we're constantly sending out students, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, within the you know music side of it too. So um, I love that we are training uh, champions. And not keeping champions. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are training to send them out to do this. So it's just great that from another, you know, um, perspective, a point of view, like, we can be able to do that through through worship and through music where um, we are training up, you know, our very own to go out and do this, like... Um, we can still even now yeah. like look in the market and you see a lot of Liberty grads, you know, mm-hmm. doing amazing things like this. Things. So it's like, yo, <laughs> this is awesome. But like now we're really taking like even a stronger intention um, of, of of sending our, our very own out um, to do this. So it's awesome. It's yeah. awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, I think for me, like when I think of the word worship, you know, it literally means to declare um, the worth and declare someone's worth. So um, I pray that this ins- this project inspires um, all listeners everywhere to like mm-hmm. make the Lord's name great in Amen. all the earth. Um, no matter um, what you do, no matter what your job is, no matter um, where life takes you, that you'll make his name great. Um, and I think it's so beautiful because 
this album, this project is a lot of young people, yeah. you know, yeah. between the ages of 18 and going up, you know, like it's a lot of young people getting together and just worshiping and being free in Christ. And I think that's something that the world needs to see today because a lot of us are running two different things that take us a lot of that take us down um, really, really dark paths. And so how inspiring is it to know that like, hey, this group all the way in Virginia is serving the Lord and following wholeheartedly after him so I can do the same. And then even for those that are older and maybe in their older years are like, you know what? The Lord has this country. This Lord has this world because there's a group. Mm -hmm. Like if I know that there's a group in Virginia that's still following the Lord, I know that there's a group all over the world Mm -hmm. that's still pursuing the Lord wholeheartedly. So Mm -hmm. that's my hope and prayer. Amen. Absolutely. Did you guys ever think that you would be in this place right now, you know, sitting and talking about a a label and a song that you guys are on? Like, (laughs) no, (laughs) not at all. No, no, no. Um, I mean, I just look back on my life. I was uh, a student um, back way when. And uh, <laughs> now I've gotten a chance to stay uh, here at Liberty and become um, staff and um, faculty here. Um, but I just think back to, you know, my early years of just growing up and just knowing, uh, like, my parents and my community did a great job of, you know, introducing me to, to the Lord and just, um, you know, who he is and, um, you know, what he does and and who he is to us and who we are to him. But um, getting the opportunity to come to Liberty uh, just, like, multiply that times 50, you know, <laughs> uh, for me just to really be able to see, like, how how big God is and to even just think that he's even bigger than Liberty as well. Um, so um, now uh, it's come an opportunity, opportunity for me to do that for other people as well. Mm. Um, and um, through this... Seven Hills Worship, I think, is going to be an, uh, uh, an awesome way um, just to, again, just to show people how big God is. Yeah, like, absolutely. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's just that yeah. simple, you know, yeah. just yeah. deep. Like, yeah. just, you know, this is, God is this big. Yeah. And, um, and uh, yeah, just to be able to do that through worship and music is, is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, and you mentioned the song We Belong, John, a mm-hmm. few minutes ago, and you've all kind of talked about how these songs are different and they're all yes. different from each other. So what can we expect in the future? Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> obviously, but. oh, there are some fantastic yeah. songs that we've already recorded that we're getting ready to release. And so I think everybody has their own favorite song on the project. <laughs> everybody from our mix engineers to the producers and stuff. But every song just captures an aspect of, Wow, I want to throw my hands up and I want to worship because God is that good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's great. So, can you tell me what your favorite song is? Like, specific name or not? Like, am I not allowed yeah, to do yeah, that? Yeah, like, you can okay. ask. You know, sure, sure, sure. Um, Start Hannah. Okay. Yeah, here you go. Here's so, here. I'm Hello. kind of biased, but I do <laughs> love We Belong. Mm-hmm. Um, I was able to, like, and just privileged to uh, be the lead vocalist on that one. But I don't know. I just, like I said, the adoption part of the gospel is a big part of my testimony. So, I think it's so sweet to be able to convey that through We Belong. That's all I can say about sure. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gotten tough for me. Um, I was kind of on the bias train, too, but. Uh, um, Honestly, each one that I listen to, it becomes my favorite. And I'm like, oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think that um, In You just has something. Oof. This is written by our very own T.J. Lawson. Um, and, oh, my, it's just this prayer um, yeah. that is just encompassing the song. And whew, it's going to be good. Um, and we were, we had the song, right? We had, and we knew kind of exactly how the song was going to go. But then we got in that room. Oh my yeah. gosh! And it just like it got in the in a in a good way. It got weird. Like yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. so good. And um, you can just hear, you know, at that point, two hundred people in a room singing this prayer, and you could hear all. You can almost feel all two hundred different like feels of it. Like hmm. you know, I mean, declaration. The, you know, like the whole mind blown. But in you is going to be awesome, and then God alone. Yeah, is going to be say. very powerful. Um, Again, just um, just a realigning of our faith um, in um, hard times. Um, again, written right here on this on this mountain um, from um, our very own Judd Harris and uh, Kevin Hoogley. Like uh, it's yeah. it's it's just a solid song um, in prayer and declaration. Like it's 
Watch out, yo. It's coming. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, it's it's tough for me. I love every song on this project, and I also heard every song on this project probably 500 <laughs> times. I've heard them from, like, the piano vocal work yeah, tape man. to, like, a little bit of production, yeah. and then I've got to watch other people listen to the songs. And so I would say that if I broke it down, like, this is what the song is about, I think I'm with Hannah on this. We Belong. Yeah. It just, it has such a strong. declaration yeah. of, like, we don't have to ask you for your presence. Like, you're already here. Yeah. And so, like, the second Hannah comes in and sings that, it's just like, yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what are the reactions yeah. like when someone hears a song? Like, what what do you feel inside whenever you see someone react to your song? Oh, it's... Uh, it, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's cool, but it's humbling at the same time. It's mm-hmm. like, wow, we, we realize that it's all God's... It's, always been God's he just Mm -hmm. lets us pick up the pen or use our voice and it's like it's it's cool to see that it belongs to him and we're just a small tool in that but he's going to accomplish his will either way so it's not something that we hold on to like it's ours because it's not and it's never been and so I I think at this it's like exciting it's so awesome but at the same time like immediately you're humbled and just like Mm -hmm. thank you Jesus And John, this is more of a little bit of a question for you on the label side of things. Yes. But whenever it comes to the genre, do you mostly want to stick to worship or whenever you expand into new bands, are you hoping to expand into other genres as well? Yeah. And so um, Seven Hills Entertainment is on the label side. And so this is kind of the start. The team's all in place. All of the networks are set up. And so we thought, okay, with worship, obviously Liberty is like I was a student here back in 2006. And it was like, liberty is worship. And it's like, I was a student again for my mass. And it's just like, every time you step into the room, it's like, wow, these students love worshiping. Mm -hmm. And so like with Seven Hills Worship coming out of liberty as student-led, it just made sense that liberty is about worship. They've been doing this since the beginning. It's a pure heart before God. And so, yes, worship will be that Seven Hills Worship uh, group. But Seven Hills Entertainment has a label. It's like, okay. There's so many talented students. There's so many talented alumni. There's so many talented people that interface with Liberty and come through here. And now that we have it set up, it's like, okay, what other genres are there? What other partnerships are there? What other other students are writing? And so we're really looking at it as a blank slate of, okay, how do we help somebody steward what God has given them? Mm -hmm. And it makes no difference what genre it is, as long as it brings honor and glory to the Lord. Mm, absolutely. And Patrick and Hannah, are you worship music students or did mm-hmm. you come from a different background? And mm-hmm. how about all of the other students as well that are a part of these projects? Sure. Um, well, um, again, I graduated uh, already. So um, I uh, I was a, a worship and uh, music uh, student. Um, but um, yeah, we have a very wide variety mm-hmm. of um, students, um, again, right here on LU, just on LU Praise. Um we are 25 students um, that, you know, come together and make a choir. I think only about half of them um, actually are in, like, this school of music, studying music. Mm. But we have so many different um, um, communications. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, medical yeah. field. Like, it's it's a very, like, yeah. diverse yeah. Like, thing. And then, obviously, collective is really the same way where mm-hmm. I would even venture to say there's probably an even a smaller percentage yeah. of the collective that um, are actually music students. And it's great. Like that's yeah. the that's yep. almost like the best thing Absolutely. about this uh this um Seven Hills worship is that it's just I mean everybody from everywhere mm-hmm. and we just be able to come together through um the common gifts and talents and heart that the Lord has given us um and how he wants us to worship and lead others in worship. So, yeah, yeah it's super diverse, super diverse. Yeah, and how is Seven Hills different from the collective sure. in LU Praise? Yeah. Sure. Oh, give me that question. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's different because it's everyone together. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it like it is the collective. It is mm-hmm. LU Praise. It is Shine. It is Vessel. Absolutely. It's everyone. It's everyone, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. everyone. It's every voice, every sound, sure. every major, sure. um, every ethnic group coming together as a whole and just worshiping. So yeah. I think that's the best way that I yeah, could ever ab- absolutely. Yeah. explain it. Each of the groups it. have a different feel as well. Yeah. So our E41 um, is kind of a bluegrass worship band. Mm. And then um, Vessel um, and The Collective are just more your modern worship type, type style band. Mm-hmm. L.U. Praise is gospel choir. And then um, you have Shine, which is kind of like an a- acapella, mm-hmm. kind of pentatonics kind of yeah. feel. And yeah. you just kind of hear yeah. all yeah. of those all together. We're just mixing into a one bowl and 
That's yeah, the it's the it's the best yeah. thing ever. Yeah. Because <laughs> so it's literally good. the best thing ever because um, I know like Lu Praise and like Colby brought things to the table that would have never run through my brain at yeah. all, and it's Likewise, literally yeah. and vice versa. <laughs> um, and it's just made everything like better, yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> because things that I would have never thought about, they do, and vice versa. So it's been amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like that coming together of everything yeah, is just it is. really a melting yes. pot, and it yes. works so well. Yeah. So yes. That's awesome. How can anyone listening, any future listeners of this song specifically and other songs, how can we pray for you and build up this label together? Yeah, I mean, honestly, um, just uh, be praying that, you know, we do hold steadfast to um, just what we believe the Lord has given us in vision for um, Seven Hills Worship, and then... Also, um, continue to pray for us as um, that vision evolves from him as well. You know, we don't want to yep. kind of just get stuck in, okay, this is what we thought it was going to be from jump, and, like, that's it, when God mm-hmm. is really going to, I believe he's going to call us to deeper waters and yeah. higher depths. Yep. And um, we just want to be open, ready for it, and, um, again, just uh, sensitive to um, the Lord's voice mm-hmm. um, and how we are, um, again, broadening um, not only just from our listeners but from the people that's going to be involved um, and uh, how we are partnering with other people and the songwriting, the musicians. Um, and again, like I was saying earlier that our students, like they turn over almost every semester, yeah. uh, really every year, and then you look up in two years, it's uh, again like a completely different 15,000 students here on campus. So yeah. like uh, we just want to make sure that we are um, – just having a heart to stay relevant, which we know that the message of the gospel will always be relevant. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I think that the Lord does give us new opportunities and new ways um, to, again, um, just continue to, to express that so um, we can reach the masses, man. Just, yeah, so. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump off that and summarize that too. It's like, just pray that God uses this not to build our own personal kingdoms, but to build yes. his kingdom, yeah. mm-hmm. and that he raises up strong leaders that come out of Seven Hills Worship, out of Liberty, um, out of the students, that they have a passion and a calling so strong from God that nothing can pull them away from that. Mm-hmm. So 10 years, 20 years after, they don't have you know this group and this campus influence. They still love God just as strong and are leading people to him no matter where they're at. Yeah. No, I think we honestly just all have the same prayer that it's like not us, but the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I've seen so many people, like whether it be through the Bible or through um, in the music industry, the second we make it about us is the second the Lord says, okay, like I'm taking my hands off of it. Mm -hmm. And the second the Lord takes his hand off, the second it doesn't mean anything, Mm -hmm. honestly. And so I just continue to pray. And like, that's my biggest prayer request that the Lord just stays in it and stays on it and stays on our hearts and that he is the focal point Mm -hmm. because um, we honestly are just making another song, another project, another thing if the Lord's not over it. So, Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Well, can I pray over you guys? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for the beautiful day that you've given us today. Thank you for the ability to come together and to talk about you and to discuss what you're doing through music and through this band, this label. Lord, I just pray that your hand is over all of it and that you bring more people to Christ, more students to it because of this label, because of this song, because of all of the songs coming in the future. And I just pray that your peace is over Seven Hills Worship and these three people in the room, all of the people in this room, that you are over all of it, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank Thank you you so much. (laughs) Yes, so fun. That was great, yeah. Cool.